Dollar Hi, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 mini series of Sim Settlements 2 Chapter 2, where today we are back over here at the South Boston Police Department to continue on with the Calling Potential Deputies quest. And I'm very much looking forward to chatting with these CPD folks, seeing what they're all about, and hopefully making some sort of friendship or alliance with them, since they do seem to hate gunners as well. So probably good to get, you know, on their good side of things. Plus, I mean, hey, if they are genuinely trying to bring some proper justice and policing back to the Commonwealth, being the general of the Minutemen, that seems like a good idea. Granted, that one officer of theirs was really looking forward to torturing that guy. Ooh, that's... That's not so good on that justice aspect, but, but, let's hear them out, see what they got, and head on in to, yeah, check out what these guys are all about. I am intrigued, and hope to get some good story and lore out of this whole thing, and perhaps talk to Shandy a bit more, as he seems like an interesting little character. Alright, we've completed following them here, and completed the quest. Oh! So do we just, I guess we just go and talk to them at random then. Alright, cool. Well, let's find them in here. Oh, hi. Oh, Shanny, you're behind the hey, desk, huh? Had anything exciting happen lately? Oh, oh no. I bet you have. Not really. I only get to take messages until I get wicked big. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Good luck with that, Shanny. Good luck with that. Alright, we did actually just pop a new quest. Continued professional development. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, let's go talk to these people. Oh no, Shandy on there? Oh, how rude. Well, Shandy, later. Good luck on, you know, getting wicked big. <laughs> oh, hi! It's the one who wanted to torture people. Hi, Lena. Hi. Oh, great. It's you again. It is. And? You want something? I mean... Wow, you're kind of rude. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Time for some questions. Let's just dive right in. She's not going to be happy about this, but eh. The hell with her. Do you have time for some questions? Okay. Jared seems to think you'll be a useful ally. I will. He has an annoying habit of being right. Ah! What do you want to know? Uh, hmm. Yeah, about the gunner trouble. Yes. Can you tell me about your trouble with the gunners? The gunners are trouble for everyone. That is true. Strutting about like they own the place, taking and killing with impunity. They sent one of their units to take supplies from our farmstead. Uh -huh. Those animals killed everyone and tore the place down. I'd taken Simon to D.C. We weren't there. We couldn't help. I could only keep Simon safe. Now I hunt them. Mm -hmm. Any gunners will do. But the ones who did it. The Hellhounds. Oh. They're the ones I really want to find. We shot them at the end of the last Anything episode. else you need to know about? First off, you went to D.C.? And who's Simon? Is Simon the other guy? I, I don't remember their names from last time. <laughs> so yeah, about your uh, what HQ here. What are you guys here? doing out here? The station? We needed somewhere to regroup. Somewhere to keep my little brother safe. Jared oh. showed it to us after he heard what happened. He let us share his secret boat hole. The stories he found here really turned things around. Now we have weapons, armor, and a safe base. Neat. It was Simon's idea to become the law. I just went along with it at first. But the desire to inflict justice on the scum of the wealth is... enticing. Anything else you need to know about? Oh. Well, one more thing is all I have here. But hold on, you said your little brother. Is Shandy your little brother? Or is Simon? I don't know. Well, hopefully we'll find that out later. So, hey, tell me about yourself, though. What are your hopes, your dreams? Tell me about yourself. I'm Lena Forsetti. Uh -huh. Big sister to Simon. The There's my answer there. Over there. Daughter to parents taken before their time. And now, a captain in the police force who will achieve vengeful justice on those who took their lives. Wow, went real gladiator Anything there, didn't we? Need to know about? <laughs> <laughs> Maximus Decimus Meridius, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, no, no more questions. I don't have any more questions. Anything else? Ah. Uh, ooh, can we get her to follow us? I have a feeling that's where that is probably going to lead. But can I help out? Anything I can do to help out? You want to help us out? Yeah. If you don't get in my way, there might be a few things you could do. Jared's our quartermaster, and he could always use help keeping us in bullets and caps. Oh. My little brother Simon probably has something very worthy he needs your help with. And for me, well, 
How do you feel about killing and skinning gunners? The killing? Sure, the skinning? What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> um, wow, she has issues. Oh boy. <laughs> God. Yeah, what's it worth to you, though? What would it be worth to you if I did? No, oh, don't worry. I'm gonna make this worthwhile. What do you say? I mean, I am always happy to kill gunners. More than happy to stick it to the gunners. I'm not Good. skinning them, though. Then you're really gonna like this. I'm putting bounties on gunners. 25 caps a head. That well, it? head tattoo. Oh. Only way of proving you've really put one down is to cut that tattoo off their forehead. Jesus! There's no nice way to do that. This isn't something for the faint-hearted or moral types. But you bring me those tats, and I'll give you the caps. You have... So many problems. First the torturing, now you're scalping Pete. God! Okay, okay. See, I thought before we came here, you know, with how Shandy was kind of talking about them and the family and all, I thought it would be some sort of slightly lighthearted mobster wannabes uh, pretending to be the police. Uh, now we have crazy torture scalpy lady here. I don't know if I like him. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta do better than that, though. 25 caps is not a lot. You'll have to do better than that to get your pound of flesh. Oh, you like we went there. Style. Maybe I can push the bounty up to 40. Just for you, mind. That works. All right, sure. I mean, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Great. I look forward to seeing what you bring me. Anything else? You have problems, Lena. Nothing right now. Nothing right now. I don't know yeah, if I if I have things to do. Oh boy. If she can be a follower, I don't know if I want her to be. She is um messed up in the head. <laughs> can I like take stuff from here? I can. Hello. Alright, everyone else is upstairs, eh? Okay, okay, okay. Let's Let's go talk to these folk, and okay, so I kinda figured he was in charge, but maybe Simon yes, yeah, Simon's the one in the office over there. Huh. Interesting. Oh, they got a police bot, too? Neat. Alright, first off, though. It's gonna be a miscellaneous quest, isn't it? Yep. <sighs> yep. Oh, God, we still have a ASAM thing from last time we were playing. All those months ago. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, well, let's talk with, uh... With Jared here first. Hi, L Jared Lund. Hey there. Hi there. How are you? Welcome to our humble abode. Yeah. Uh -huh. Headquarters of the Commonwealth Police Department. I'm Jared, by the way. I know. Or Sergeant Lund these days. Thanks for giving us a hand back there at the docks. No problem. From what Caleb has told us about you, I've been hoping we'd get to meet you. My Caleb. You probably have plenty of questions. Or if you've the need, I can trade with you. So, is there anything I can help you with? Well, who the hell is Caleb? Is that someone I'm not remembering from the first chapter? That's probably what that is. So, hey, uh, time for some questions, buddy. Do you buddy. have time for some questions? Okay. What would you like to know? Oh, so many things. Yeah, I want to know. I want to hear what you think about the Gunners. We all heard Lena, but yes. <laughs> Can you tell me about your trouble with the Gunners? Gunners have been making more and more mischief across the wealth in recent times. Mm -hmm. The ones we're after right now are called the Hellhounds. The Forsetti family were good customers and good friends. They had a nice little homestead not too far off, till the Hellhounds came along anyway. That family breeds stubborn souls, and the Hellhounds are evil bastards who'll take the least excuse to turn things violent. Okay. Lena and Simon were out when it happened, and I managed to keep them safe. The Hellhounds caused the CPD, and the CPD exists to end the Hellhounds. Oh, neat. Was there anything else you'd like to know? Well, I want to know why that gun holster on your backpack is actually attached to, like, your arm, not your backpack. It's really unnerving when you move around. <laughs> but hey, nice place you got here. Nice place you got here. I found it a while back. Made for a great hideout in an otherwise nasty area. I dug up a stash of old police gear and a good place to store my goods. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When Lena and Simon needed a safe place, I brought them here. When they needed protection, I let them have some of the old police stuff. 
Simon started going on about law and order, and before I knew it, I'd agreed to starting a police force. The results are what you see around you. No, okay. Is there anything else you'd like to know? You well, clearly about yourself, but that was interesting. I mean, we already did kind of get that from Lena, that they, you know, of course, they started the whole thing after that incident. But, yeah, it's good to hear from him, and then he used to use the place for, like, storing trade and whatnot. Neat. So, about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Well, this overweight old man in uniform before you is Sergeant Jared Lund, quartermaster for the Commonwealth Police Department. Mm-hmm. But that's mostly recent developments. Just about all my life, I've been a scavenger and traveling trader, a finder and seller of great salvage. Ooh. I met Shandy when he was just a street kid, trying to pick my pocket. After listening to him go on and on, I gave him a home, and work is my runner. Aw, good for you. After all, the years have slowed me down some, and it would be a waste not to pass my extensive knowledge on to a new generation. Was Aww. there anything else you'd like to know? That's nice. I like that. Jared, you you are all right. Questions. Lena is terrifying is and a else? danger to herself and others. Uh, but you, you I like. Can I help you out somehow? Anything I can do to help out? Okay. There is something I think you can help me with if you're interested. I am. There's an old police station, which we'd like to get back up and running. <gasps> and I'd like to get access to a pre-war stash, which should be there. Uh-huh. East Boston Station is being picked over by a nasty bunch of scavers. And I'd like someone to take care of them before they get into the stash. Got it. Or also, oh my god, are we going to be like able to do something similar to like with the Minutemen of like making police stations around? And that'd be awesome if we can. So, I am intrigued though. What's so interesting? Why don't you tell me what's so interesting about this? Well, going by the records I found, there should be stacks of police protectrons down there Ooh. just waiting for activation. Neat. If I'm right and we can get them working again, we'll have a huge boost to our manpower. Well, robot power. You know what I mean. I do and I love it. I like you even more. You and me, we are on the same wavelength. Let's have a robot army slash police force. Love it. What do you need? What do you need me to do exactly? Right, so East Boston Station is a bit of a flooded ruin. Oh, that place. It has a storage yard attached to it that should have a really useful stash. The scavers have worked out that there's something good there, but they can't get at it. So we need to get them evicted before they can work it out. Mm -hmm. After you clear the scavers, you'll also need to get the control terminal working and activate the stock. Then it'll take care of itself. Neat. I like it. I can do it for you. I suppose I can do that. Great. So evict those scavers and get the stash activated. Will do. Oh, and you'll need these old codes I got off the network. Nice. Okay, capturing police depository. Magnificent. I love it. I love it. Robot army, always a good thing. Also, what was that? Oh, no, never mind. From a distance, it looked like a different kind of pistol, and I was confused and intrigued. But no, no, just stand at 10 mil. Neat, we're gonna have lots of those. All right, well, let's talk to the last man here, and I guess the chief. Hi, Simon. <clears throat> How are you? Hello, and welcome to the Commonwealth Police Department's headquarters. Yeah. Oh, and I just wanted to say thank you for coming when Jared asked. Lena and me tend to get wrapped up in thinking we can do everything ourselves. Jared's the one who actually has a head for resources, whether that's keeping us fed or knowing how many people to take to an engagement. Did you see uh -huh. that the Brotherhood has arrived? I oh, they're dead. They did good things in the capital wasteland. Let's hope they bring some order here, too. <laughs> no, they're Can dead. I help you with anything? Uh, well, first off, first off. So, Jared's really the one in charge around here then, I guess. Uh, he, uh, you know, getting everything sorted, resources, and telling how many people to take two jobs. Granted, that being said, there's literally three of them. Four if you count the kid. It's not hard to figure out how many people you need. <laughs> so, questions. Do you have time for some questions? Yes, of course. What would you like to know? Well, now what's your take on the gunners? Yes. Can you tell me about your trouble with the gunners? It's not all gunners. Not really. There's this one unit. They call themselves the Hellhounds. Mm -hmm. A real nasty bunch. They came to our family's place demanding supplies. 
but there's a stubborn streak in our family, and our folks just wouldn't submit to those bullies. Got it. Unfortunately, the Hellhounds have a reputation. Least excuse, and they lose all restraint. And our folks, well, they... Lena and me, we were on a trading run to the city. Couldn't have turned the tables, really. But that doesn't stop us regretting not being able to try. Anyway, we have a purpose now. A drive to give the victims of criminals like those justice. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Oh yeah, oh definitely. Also, Jesus, we've had this before in, I, in other mods where they referred to Diamond City as DC, and them just saying DC, I go, oh, you've been down the Capital Wasteland, huh? No, no, I mean Diamond City. <laughs> this has happened in other mods. Okay, yeah, I was curious about that when Lena said they you know, did a trading run down to DC earlier. That makes more sense now. Okay, so hey, about the station. What are you guys doing out here? This station was at first just a sanctuary, but we found old supplies here, gear from the pre-war police force. Putting on these uniforms gave us all a purpose, a reason to keep going, a thing to unite us, something to be part of. Neat. This place is just the start. We're going to keep recruiting and spreading out into the other stations. Oh my god, I hope so. and order back to the wealth. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Oh yeah, about yourself. Tell me about yourself. I'm Simon. Simon Forsetti. Lena is my older sister. She's crazy. And we're all that's left of our family. We grew up in a farmstead not too far from here. It was hard work, but we Forsettis are a stubborn bunch. So I keep hearing. Mom really nurtured my love for reading. Not an easy task, but she always managed to find things for us to read. Neat. I really miss that old farmstead and all the folks who filled it. But this place has kept us safe, and for now, we call it home. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Why, well, nope, nope, I'm I don't good. have any more questions. Was there anything else? Well, yes, in that case, how can I help? Anything I can do to help out? Okay. Well, we need to corroborate the information given by the prisoner. Not that it's a lot to go on. True. It also showed that we need to build up if we want to take on people like the Hellhounds. Lena and Jared have some ideas you could maybe ask about. There was something I had in mind, too. It's a bit more academic than what the others will be thinking, but I'd like to hear what you think. Okay, I'm certainly listening. I mean, it can't be any worse than Lena telling me to scout people. That is still... Ha oh boy, I'm listening. Go ahead, I'm listening. Thank you. The thing is, if we want the Commonwealth to respect us, we need to be seen upholding established laws. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe that if we are serious about presenting ourselves as police, we need to follow the old codes of law and order. I'm lucky enough to be well-read on old laws, but I think we all need to have books and tapes to reference and learn from. Right. The Boston Public Library, I believe, will have what we need. Is there any chance that you'd be able to obtain some things for us? I mean, yeah, sure, sure. I'm, uh, I would like to know more about the library from you, though. Anything more you can tell me about the library? Oh, it's an amazing building. A huge repository of pre-war knowledge. Some previous occupants had set up defenses which have kept it mostly untouched. So, you'll need to deal with some turrets and robots. The doors are well secured, but you might be able to get in through the subway entrance. If you manage to open up the building, there's a station house nearby that we could use to protect it. So, what do you say? <gasps> Another police station! My god. Glad to help! I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. That's great. Here, I'll give you a list of the publications which I'm looking for. Excellent! Excellent! We have... Oh boy, read Simon's... Oh boy, alright, alright. Let's, let's go to that first. We got a lot of things now. We got a lot of things to do. Okay, so over to this. Oh god, what was it called? <laughs> I'm assuming it starts with Simon. Uh, yes! Oh, thank god. Alright, holotapes. Modern policing procedures. Manual... 
All right. Well, hold on. <laughs> Please firearm procedures from sidearms to shoulder mounted. Jesus. Constitutional kind of wells. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, oh God. That's small type. Currently two visible entrance. Oh, okay. Just, you know. Hmm. Basic info on the building. Our parents talk about a group hold up in the library, working towards protecting the knowledge. Yeah, they're all dead, I think, in the safe file. And the group is no longer present. Gaining access to the uh, building may be more difficult. All right, all right, yeah. Shouldn't be bad. All right, a lot of things I already know about the place. Well, yes, clearly we need to go and do that optional aspect. Glorious. Okay, yeah, just gotta go complete their assignments. Okay, well, let us... Hmm. Let's do this one first. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Things to do. We have quest. Lena seems to have bugged out. Or at least yeah. moved position in the building. There she is. <laughs> hey, Shanny, how about you? Anything new? Before the bombs, were you from before they built the city? What? Ooh, I bet you even saw dinosaurs. I liked you, kid. Now I've got to end you. <laughs> <laughs> also, how do you know I'm from pre-war? I never mentioned that to you. Hi there. Doc? Hey, no more messages for you yet. I hope we get something exciting soon. We may, we may not. We'll see. But all right. Okay. Well, ooh, hello, terminal. Ooh, CPD net terminal. Hello. Okay, department records. Let's check that first. Access denied. Okay. CPD personnel only. Internal mail. Yeah, okay. I'm not I'm not CPD yet, I guess. Dang. Ought to be interesting once we do get that. What do we got? Bathroom? Okay. Kind of a small police station they got here. <laughs> Anything I missed upstairs? Any other... Oh, hello. There are other things. Okay. Interrogation room. Lovely. Hi there. Yeah, I'm a lot of stuff kind of blocked off in here. Did to deserve you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was also <sighs> going to check out your shop. I forgot. I hear those scavs are still trying to get into East Boston Station stash. If we leave it too long, we'll lose out. Yeah, I know. I don't Did care right now, though. Need anything? I need to shop. I wanted to see what you have for trade. That's trade. Great. Let me show you what's in stock. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay. Oh, we've got, uh, all right, so some pretty standard police weaponry here. Some uniforms. Neat. Security vest, patrolman glasses. Oh, the Mark II is quite nice. Well, I mean, clearly we gotta buy these things. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Accept. Confirm the trade. Was there anything else? God, that holster on your side. Oh my God, the binoculars on the other side also have the same thing going on. Yep. Yep, they're attached to your arms, not the bag. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our uh, equipment here that we have now. Ooh, I can still wear all my armor with that. Nice, nice, nice. Now it's all gone. Okay, and patrolman sunglasses. Beautiful. Let's see how we look. Nice. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Let's keep them on for now. I mean, it's nowhere near as good of armor as what I've got, but... We're bringing back it's something. Order to this land. It's something. It will take time. Also, Jared, I need well, to use this work... There. Oh, no, good it's a weapon workbench. Never mind. I was going to see if I could upgrade the armor on this thing. But nope, wrong bench, wrong bench. Okay, we're wow, cops now. That could have gone worse. <laughs> Thanks for your help. I have, I mean, I guess I have saved your butts a little bit. All right, well. I only have 24 minutes. Hmm. I'm thinking we're actually just going to end this episode early today and then do, we can probably do both those quests in one episode next time. But we really don't have the time to do them right now, I'm thinking. So yeah, let's just end it a little bit earlier than normal right now, but I am excited. We have a, well, two quests to go and do. Oh crap, I also forgot that I wear this armor because it has pockets. Oh no, I'm currently over encumbered. <laughs> well. Unfortunate. <laughs> hmm.
Didn't think about that. Well, I'll probably have to put my other armor back on, or at least, you know, lose the security vest. <laughs> yep, lose the security vest. There we go. Have all of our glorious pockets back. Magnificent. Aw, I mean, we don't look quite as cool now, but... A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> all right, but that is going to be it for this one, folks. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. And you do come back for the next one. We are going to help uh, these people out. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. Well, have a good one.